Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motype Media, and a new era has begun. Porter Robinson is back with the first single from the new album, whatever it's called, it's done. Here it is, new track, Cheerleader, out now, and we're going to give a first listen reaction to this track. To say I'm overwhelmed with joy is an understatement. I love the teaser for this so far. I think everything about whatever we've heard from this is... Oh man, I'm I'm just so anticipatory for how fun this is going to be and how good this is going to be a new era and uh, I'm ready to just I'm ready to jump into it. So here we go. Let's listen to the new Porter Robinson track, Cheerleader. Here we go. Oh, just starts with this. This is so fun. I love this so much. I I am way more in love with this off the bat than I was the Nurture singles, and that album was phenomenal. Um, this is just such a fun, engaging, like almost carefree but also narratively deep track. And oh my goodness, I love the like the 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 change up of the little like more um chimey kind of synth melody at the end there, where it kind of kicks it up from the the regular synth run that he goes for and. Oh, oh man, this track is so great. I love this so much. Um, so first of all, uh, I, I would say uh, narratively, this, this sounds, a, it, it, it's very much like a parasocial relationship. This is a, uh, a relationship that Porter Robinson has with, I guess, some female fan of his, some sort. You can see that he's, uh, she says she's obsessed, like uh, all this kind of stuff, got hard in her eyes, like draws me kissing other guys. This is like, yeah, very much, I think happens a lot of in fandoms. People just love drawing the people that they love whatever and so 
uh, and it, it's very fascinating. I don't know where, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I, I only have one listen through, obviously, on the lyrics, but um, it, it's very fascinating, just the whole line of of uh, they need you or they need him and he needs her of this idea of like, oh, like, is this, <laughs> this is like a two-way street. Like, yeah, there's like some level of like, oh, where does she know where to draw the line? But uh, in the end, like, they, they need each other. They feed off each other for um, both entertainment and even relationship maybe in some point. And that's part of the parasocial part of it of this, like, oh, even though this is, like, parasocial, like, do I need to also be, like, do I need to give some of this relationship? Porter's thinking that sort of. And so if you don't know, parasocial relationship is the idea that, like, um, you don't, like, uh, you know a person really, really well. Like, if that's an online figure or a YouTuber or a musician, something like that, just because you watch and, like, are in are indulge in so much of their content, but they don't know anything about you. So you feel like you have a relationship with them, but they don't have a relationship with you. And so this is sort of the, the narrative through line that Porter's talking about here. And so... Uh, I like it a lot. I'm very intrigued to see how this is going to fit in with the rest of the thematics of the record because um, it seems like this point this is this feels more like a like I don't know how much more exploratory he can go here. Um, I've seen some theories where people talk about how it's going to be like a, the idea of this album being very uh, an online album, like just talking about a lot of uh, narratives around things like being perpetually online or um, like just I don't know stuff like that. Short form content, attention spans, parasocial relationships. Like I think that could be where a lot of this thing is going. And also, like, especially with the album here, it, like, it kind of is this parasocial relationship where um, you're sort of, uh, <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> uh, like giving this, like, app, I guess you're trying to feed this person on the screen. Like, you're feeling like, oh, you need to give something to them, um, but they're just a, a thing on a screen that you can, that they can't interact back with. But um, it's quite fun. It, interesting album art, I'll say. Uh, it is not very a typical album art, but it is, uh, it's quite interesting. Um, Production-wise, uh, this is a classic Porter, new wave of Porter sound where this isn't quite fully future bass. It's not quite electro pop. It's not quite hyper pop. It really is an amalgamation of all of these different sounds and styles. And um, Porter does such a great job of carving out this new sound, a new sound and, and creating a new era of just of tone and energy and atmosphere that is unlike most anything out there in the days. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this brand new uh, style and sound. I'm, I kind of am ready for some more like hyper pop. Like I'm ready for Porter to go like hard. Like I would say this is probably poor, partially hyper pop. Or I, I did say, it, but like maybe primarily if anything, but um, I'm excited for more of this kind of specific sound and this like really just uh, <laughs> high pitched vocals, just going for it. High energy, just like, just go, go, go. And uh, man, this is fantastic. I love this so much. This is so fun. I, I love New Porter and this is fantastic. But I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. So I'd love to hear any and all thoughts there. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Botai Media and I'll see you guys in another video.